In this final segment, we will talk a little bit more about BRDFs. BRDFs are a key part of your renderer. It is the way in which you have the ability to handle many different materials and many different types of surfaces. You can represent a BRDF through an abstract interface and have it interface with multiple important sampling. You just need to implement these particular functions. One is the evaluation function for a given incident and outgoing direction, what is the corresponding value of the BRDF? Next, you need a sample function. Given an outgoing direction, sample me a good incident direction so that I can continue my path. Furthermore, I need a probability distribution function that is given arbitrary outgoing and incident directions or given an incident direction for a fixed outgoing direction, I need to have a probability distribution function at that direction. This is important for multiple importance sampling. Finally, I also need the value of a sample, which is usually simply the evaluation divided by the probability distribution function, but sometimes having this value explicitly can enable one to analytically cancel terms in the evaluation and the probability distribution function and simplify the result. Any physical or even non-physical cartoonish BRDF must fit the above interface. The evaluation function is usually easy, it's simply the BRDF formula. Notice that this can be an analytic formula, but it can also come from a table of measurements equally easily. Sampling of BRDFs can be hard and is actually crucial. We'll talk in a moment about my 2004 paper that for the first time actually developed a method for general important sampling of BRDFs. There are, of course, special cases for many particular BRDFs, and you have earlier discussed sampling for Fong and GGX models. The probability distribution function can also be non-trivial and you often need to spend some amount of effort to make sure the math is actually correct. Let's consider the simplest case of a diffuser Lambertian surface. The BRDF is simply a constant. Rho is the diffuse albedo in the range of 0 to 1 divided by pi. Notice that for energy conservation, you need to have this division by pi. The transport function will involve a cosine term in the final evaluation, and that is why the BRDF involves multiplying as well by this cosine term. Now, evaluating the BRDF is straightforward. What about sampling? So you can either uniformly sample the hemisphere, or you can cosine weight. The PDF function, if you are uniformly sampling the hemisphere, is simply 1 over 2 pi, or if you are cosine weighting, is cos theta over pi, and we have seen this earlier. Finally, instead of doing eval divided by PDF, we can also do a new value function, which for cosine sampling would cancel out the cosine term, and therefore, you're simply left with the diffuse albedo rho multiplied by the incident light energy from the given direction, Li. We have dealt with BRDF evaluation. We need important sampling and PDF functions for MIS. In 2004, quite recently actually, it's only 15 years ago, there were no good important sampling schemes for most BRDFs, including common microfacet models like the Torrent Sparrow reflectance model. The GGX model hadn't yet been proposed and used widely. In work I did with Shimon Rushinkevics and Jason Lawrence in SIGGRAPH 2004, we factored the BRDF into data-driven terms that can each be important sampled and in this way, you can handle the important sampling of general BRDFs. 
Today, some form of important sampling for lighting and BRDFs is standard in production, as well as combining them with multiple important sampling, and in fact is a standard feature of the production renderer RenderMan since about 2011. Here was our motivation. You have this nice scene where you have a variety of BRDFs. You have Cook Torrance BRDFs for the vase and the table. You have measured plastic reflectance. You have measured metallic blue reflectance and measured nickel. The last three come from the measured BRDF database of Matushik et al. The key idea was to project the 4D BRDF into a sum of products of a 2D function dependent on omega out and a 2D function dependent on omega in. Omega out is known, and so that value can be taken out, but you need to sample over the distribution over omega in, and we showed how to do this. Furthermore, we showed that you need to reparametrize, so omega p depends only on the incoming direction and some reparametrization of the hemisphere. For most of the microfacet BRDFs, this would depend on the half angle, for example. Once you've done that, we could produce results like this with 300 samples per pixel. Our method is on the right, and I've shown you some close-ups, and as compared to the then state-of-the-art method, which is sampling the La Fortune fit, we obtained substantially better results. So in summary, I have told you how BRDFs can fit in the general framework of Monte Carlo path tracing and multiple important sampling, through a simple abstract interface involving evaluation, sampling, and PDF evaluation. And I've showed you how the research on how to import and sample a BRDF is still a relatively recent and active area.